gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel That channel is Deb Chanel's For This World Okay, I want to thank you for all your support in the past, the present, and in the future Thank you, thank you so much. Without you, there would be no me. Okay, I wouldn't have anybody to talk about or give my opinion to on any particular related subject when we're talking about celebrities, reality stars, actors, actresses, and what have you. Okay, but I want to thank you, thank you again for supporting my channel by coming over, looking at my videos, liking my videos, sharing my videos, and definitely subscribing to my channel. So continue to do all, all of that by supporting me. Like, share, and subscribe to my video channel, okay, which is Deb Chanel's 4 Days World. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. But now we need to go into a must-see video. Yes, I got another one for, for you all tonight. And we get the information from none other than Urban Bell. Yep, UrbanBellMagazine.com. Okay, go over there and check her out. She's got several salacious stories on entertainment when it comes to our reality stars and just celebrities out there in Hollywood. But we got Portia Williams and Phaedra Parks. Phaedra Parks is kind of throwing a little shade here and there at Portia Williams. Go figure. Okay, what is she being so salty about? My Lord, she hasn't been on the show in, what, two or three years now? And she's still hauling grudges? I mean, Portia should be forever mad at her. All right. But we're going to go on and get in this story. We don't know who wrote it. They didn't give us that information. So we're going to say, say a staff reporter, okay? But they titled their article, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Phaedra Parks has an interesting opinion about Portia Williams. Wow, everybody's having an opinion these days. I thought it was just content creators as well as bloggers. But okay, let everybody get their head in the ring and go and, and tell how they feel about a particular subject matter. That's my part. That's my sidebar. That ain't in this article. But uh, as I scroll down my um, phone when I'm entering this article, it said it was written by Amanda Anderson Niles. So let's give her hands up. All right, hand claps and get on into her salacious story she wrote for her employer, Urban Bell. Okay, it goes on to say, most Real Housewives of Atlanta fans can agree that Phaedra Parks was a very polarizing housewife. She had some of the most controversial feuds, and some of her reads were unforgettable. And my neck. King Cole voice, unforgettable, that's what you are, unforgettable, one year of fire, I can't remember the lyrics y'all, but hey, <laughs> it just made me think about it, okay, get into it, oh, uh, that was Natalie Cole and her father, Matt King Cole. We're getting on back into this article. Got me uh, being a little nostalgic there. But anyway, it goes back to the article. We says, wow, she has her share of critics. She also has a lot of fans. In fact, many would like for her to return to the show. However, Phaedra's return will lead to Candy Burr's exit. And just a sidebar, I don't know if it's true or not, but it's my opinion. I really feel if Candy... Uh, exit that show because Phaedra came back. Then she gonna try to own Bravo Entertainment. <laughs> True entertainment. Yes, I think the litigation, the papers will be rolling, files will be uh put out there, people will be summoned to come to jury duty and all that. So no, I really don't think Phaedra will be bringing herself back. Okay, unless maybe it was a Bravo somewhere else in another state. But I don't even know if uh, Candy will sit still for that either. So she has a client uh, lock where Phaedra cannot come in. And it's just a shame because, like I said, I don't understand how professional career choices aren't as lucrative as being in the entertainment field. Because we all seen Phaedra out there. She almost looking like a thought. She every picture she's taken is very provocative, and it just makes you know. I guess men fall all out or whatnot, and maybe some ladies if they're that way. But it's just like she's always on the camera. 
She's out. I'm like, are you high? Your film crew, honey, are you hiring people to take pictures of you and post them? I'm, I'm just saying because ah, you're doing too much out there. And I'm like, you a lawyer, and then you uh got your licensure and mortician type work. I mean, people are dying every day. I'm sure that should be keeping you in the business because when you was on the show, you sure was trying to get that degree and try to feel like you were gonna be in partnership with. I think it was. It's Watkins Funeral Home. They had Wiley Watkins Funeral Home that they had showcasing when she was on the show. And she was going to be like shadowing him. And he's going to be her mentor and all like that. What happened with that, Phaedra? I mean, that's smoking to money. That's money every day, all day. Because uh, like I said, people dying every day. So, and then you're a lawyer. People need representing. On certain type of infringements they do on a daily basis. So, you got two solid careers that... Never should you be begging bread or trying to make ends meet. You should always have clients at the wazooka. But yet, you find all kinds of time to be posing for pictures and trying to be in everybody's magazine cover. I mean, I don't understand. Even in the top blogs, we're trying to do stuff. I'm like, sit yourself down, Phaedra. I wish you could come back because Lord knows you would give me something to chuckle about and talk about on a daily run, okay? But it's just not going to be feasible from what I see, okay? And what I hear on the streets, you know, because the people be talking. They want you back, but Candy got it on lockdown, allegedly. Like, no. <laughs> Y'all even attempt to smell her fragrance come up in this true entertainment enterprise section. I'm up sitting down there trying to get her a contract. I got some contracts for y'all, too. So they ain't trying to do nothing on that front about bringing her back. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, this is all because Portia Williams claimed Phaedra was the one who told her Ted and Todd wanted to drug her and take her to their dungeon. Okay? After Andy Cohen claimed this resulted in the cast refusing to film with Phaedra, and she lost her peach. Folks are still very opinionated about the situation today. Phaedra recently liked a very interesting comment a follower made about Portia. Okay, my phone is trying to go over. It's moving kind of slow. Uh... Okay, it basically was saying a commenter had wrote on her post or on what do you call it, Urban Bella. Somebody named D Queen 105 wrote, You let Portia get away with a lot. And, and it says, Interesting enough, Phaedra recently liked an Instagram comment regarding that matter. And Phaedra follower and a Phaedra's follower believes Portia got away with a lot. And you know, they just screenshotted it and show Portia agreed with that statement that that commenter was making that I guess in the essence saying well shouldn't Portia have gotten you know just slapped on the hand should she have gotten dismissed too for false allegations uh defame the defamation of character against Candy and Dodd you know but I guess they were looking at the intellectual level Portia was showing us at the time and she wasn't really abreast at uh, the law and how you should conduct yourself and how rumors could definitely damage a person's credibility, especially if they're in the entertainment uh, world and if enough liars come together and pose it to be the truth, then, you know, the truth is going to prevail on their side, meaning the stuff could be totally false. But if you get enough people saying the same thing over and over again, everybody or the majority will believe it, even though it's a, a straight up lie. But, I, I mean, I, I really don't know. It's, it's not really here nor there. Uh, Portia could have did her own due diligence and just asked Candy off camera. Or if they had to just come on camera and film that little section, it would have been a salacious story. And we sure would have been like pent ear to the screen trying to catch every verbal word that came out of each in other, each other's mouths about that situation. But... You know, of course, Portia was trying to be all that because at that time, her 
she was her and Phage was like freaking frat. Every time you saw Frick, you saw frat. And at the time it was where Candy was hanging tough with Phaedra a lot too. But I guess she could not manipulate Candy because Candy didn't go go with a lot of things. I think uh in my personal opinion that Candy and Phaedra's uh friendship kind of erupted and went left when um Todd and Candy and Apollo were kind of tight. And, you know, on the respect that Todd was hanging out with Apollo at the time, they shared a lot of intimate, you know, uh, conversations and Candy was privy to some of those situations. And she didn't like it because she probably thought, you know, she seen some things Faith was doing was that was kind of foul, but she never really said anything. But with Candy being in the middle and she's seen hearing two different sides from uh, Apollo's side and Phaedra side and she had to be like who's the lesser evil who's really tra- you know, telling the truth so she had to really put her finger cap on and say well Apollo is saying it's making much more sense than what I've seen and heard Phaedra do out there in them streets so I think that those tables kind of turned when Phaedra really felt that Candy was on her soon to be ex-husband side and she really didn't have any validity to stand with her uh, you know, as women stand together and we unite together, you know, we take down this brother. <laughs> tort- uh, sort of mentality, way of thinking. But, um, yeah, that was just a hot mess all the way around. And I kind of still feel some sort of uh, negative way that Candy would definitely uh, take a business adventure and turn it into a money-making type of ordeal. But she blatantly said that was damaging to her uh, self as a woman, as a business woman, and just, uh, you know, a nice pillar in the community. But, you know, to each his own, and, you know, I'm sure lawyers got in it and, and, and litigated, and they, you know, said she could make the money off of it. It wasn't a rumor she started, and it's something definitely she's not doing. So, I guess she got the green light. But I just, my whole thing, I don't know why uh, Phaedra is just trying to be in the entertainment field. That's why I say it got, it must be some serious do re me money greenbacks out there, okay, in that entertainment field. Because if it's just going to make you uh, toot your nose up or turn your head away from just having a regular profession that pays good money, because attorneys make real good money, especially entertainment and uh, attorneys. That's uh, what's his name? Randy, somebody. I can't think of that main name. He was the, uh, he handled Nene's case, uh, and he was uh, Todd Tucker had let him go and review his prenup that him and Cat. That was a Randy Sell- Sellers or shoot, I can't think of the main. Y'all tell me what it was. I mean, I, I can't call it right, recall it right now, but I did a video on him. But anyway, it is <laughs> saying what it is. I'm like, damn, Phaedra, get our portions behind. She already got Lonnie Love. Trying to itch and scratch something she thinks is itching on Portia. But Portia loves that man. Uh, she loves dirty draws. And this is, is what it is. Now, if you do some other type of infringement, she might might won't be able to forgive that one. But she set her pace on going to settle down with this young man and probably think about having another baby by him as well. Who knows what the future her holds for Miss Portia Williams, honey. But she's doing her thing. She's living her best life. And she ain't having no uh, afterthoughts or no uh, hardship thoughts of the past. She's a forgiving woman. She feels like she can make it with Dennis McKinley. You know, I'm telling her. And I was going to tell her, pop them break girl, you got a tight air prenup, Okay. Get that straightened out, because then you're going to be hollering and crying, doing a lot more devastation out there if that man around, you know, the corner that you call your fiancé, boyfriend, lover, whoever, take you for all your money, okay? Then you're really going to be hollering. Ain't nobody going to want to hear it, poor. Ain't nobody going to want to hear it. Your mama probably ain't going to want to hear it, because she probably told you, look at here, look at here. I told you about that man, but you didn't listen. You want to go learn. You want life to teach you the hard knocks life of lessons out there. You want to go and enroll in that school. And so it's going to teach you. It's going to teach you very well. But that's all I have for this video. I just found it very interesting that uh, Phaedra Parks is in the business of giving her opinion when it comes to Portia Williams. <laughs> when she had so much... Uh, 
had her hand in her own demise of getting off of the show. But yet she want to have a negative opinion towards Portia. I said, Portia, you got so many enemies coming after you, baby girl. Woo, child, when you got enemies, enemies that call themselves your friends, you definitely don't need no friends. <laughs> But that's all I had for this video, y'all. It was brought to you by me, Gail Snails 40s, where on behalf of Urban Bell. So if you want any more salacious stories that I may not put out, but she may be banging them out over there, please go to UrbanBellMag.com and get your entertainment ears and eyes well read. Okay, see y'all next video. Bye-bye.